Back there now at 925 and continuing our conversation with Governor Mary Fallon right now uh, did have some questions for you and I wanted to start off with commitment 2018 as we head into this uh, this general election here. You have publicly endorsed Kevin Stitt as governor. Why did you do that? What qualities does he possess that you think makes him the man for the job? Well, I like the fact that he's a businessman. He knows how to make a payroll. He's employed people. He understands some of the obstacles that may face employers as it relates to the cost of doing business and how you can improve your bottom line, how you can hire more people and create jobs and opportunities. And I think he'll do a great job with that. And when it comes to that, I know you've heard this, but for people who haven't, Business Insider named him one of the top 15 shadiest businesses, was banned from doing business in Georgia for five years, uh, said that he gave away double the bad mortgages of all of his competitors. Did you take that into consideration at all when it came to your endorsement? And, and what do you think about that? Well, he can answer that for himself because that's his record. But what I've seen from him is he's, he's a good man. He's honest. He's got a great family. He explained in some of that, and I don't know all the details, that he had a couple of bad loans with some of his officers or people that worked within his company, as I understand it. And so he took care of it and fixed it, and that's the way it is. So I support him. I think, he's, I think he'll do a great job. Looking to the future now, what do you hope to see the next governor tackle? What is still on this state's to-do list? Well, you know, one of my biggest concerns, and, and actually I just got back from New York meeting with the bond rating agency, is making sure that we keep Oklahoma's budget structurally balanced and you know we went through a pretty tough time in 2014 when the price of oil dropped from 107 a barrel down to 26. We went through about three years of budget shortfalls because of the revenue not coming in from the oil and gas industry but we finally fixed it this year. The budget is structurally balanced. We eliminated using one-time funds. We now have a, one of the lowest unemployment rates we've ever had. When I came into office it was 6.2 percent unemployment. Now we have 3.5 when I came into office, we had $2.03 in the savings account. Now mm -hmm. we have close to half a billion in savings. And we've created over almost 200,000 new jobs in the state of Oklahoma. And our population has grown. Teachers have the biggest pay raise ever in the state's history. And we've given more money to education, 19% increase over this past year. And so I'm hoping that that as the next governor comes in, they will keep those things going. And that's one of the things that the New York bond rating agencies talked to me about. We're concerned about whoever takes your place. Will they keep the budget balanced? Will they do the things they have to do and make the tough decisions and take, frankly take some tough hits to make sure that the budget is stable, that you're funding some of the core services that need to be funding. And, and they like the fact that we gave the teachers a pay raise this year. And looking ahead, I know you and I were just talking about this. You, you know, you've been governor for the past eight years. You have been at the state capitol for- 28 years. 28 years. Uh, will we see you continue on in public service at all, or are you going to take a, a, a much needed break for a little bit? What's your plan? Well, it's been a great honor and opportunity to be able to serve the state of Oklahoma. I started out in the legislature at 35, ran for lieutenant governor 12 years, Congress four years, now governor eight years. But I think it's time to pass the torch on to other people, let them try their ideas and, and to get some new people into politics these days. But I will say in the state of Oklahoma, I've got a lot of people asking me, will you help on this project or that project, stay involved, especially in economic development type activities. And of course, I'm some people may not know this, but I just became a grandmother two months ago. Congratulations. So that's my newest that's job that I'm very excited about. And yes. spend a little bit more time with my family and my husband and I are going to take a vacation immediately. But I'll okay. still be here working and engaged in the state of Oklahoma. I have about 30 seconds left. I was going to ask you a twofold question. Greatest success, greatest failure. Well, I think the greatest success was taking us through two economic downturns. When I came into office, as I mentioned, we had a 6.2% unemployment, $2 in our savings account. We had a budget shortfall that first year. I grew it out all the way to have the fourth fastest growing economy by 2013. Then 2014, we had another energy bus. We came back out of that. Now the budget is stabilized. Oklahoma has close to half a billion in savings and one of the lowest unemployment rates ever in our history at 3.5% largest teacher pay raise. So that's our greatest success. I wish I could have done it sooner, but I can't affect the global international oil and gas energy market. Sure. Do you have a failure that, that you think back on during well, that time? That's one of the things I wish we could have done sooner. And, you know, for three years I called for a teacher pay raise and I couldn't get the legislature to do it. But after this year with some pretty tough talk with them and actually a vetoed budget and two special sessions, we got it done.
Well, Governor Mary Fallon, as always, thank you for your time. It's good to see you. We do appreciate it. And just so viewers know at home, we do want you to know about the Institute for Child Advocacy's Fall Forum. Governor, I know you've speak, spoken at this before. All starts at the state capitol tomorrow afternoon at 1 o'clock. Child advocacy experts will discuss solutions and laws to help Oklahoma's children. People can register for this forum on the website right here on your screen. KSU 5 News at 9 o'clock continues right after this break.